Tom Compton's gone. He signed with Denver. Boy, good luck, Russell Wilson. So the Niners won a lot of games with him. Good run blocker, not particularly great in pass protection. He's one of these like 290 pounds off offensive tackles. Why? That being said, though, they did win a lot of games with Tom Compton, and we don't know what's going on with Mike McGlinchey. Why do you think the Niners didn't re-sign Tom? Too expensive? Well, I think they probably maybe view him as a guy that they can replace, right? Okay. I mean, he was kind of in the competition with Jalen Moore. So maybe they feel like, all right, Moore, like, yeah. now it's, it's all on you to just take that next step. But maybe they didn't see as much of a difference between Moore and Compton to bring yeah. back Compton on money when you have a rookie ward in that contract. I mean, uh, more on that rookie contract. Yeah. What's crazy to me, I feel like the Niners are – remember last year, they didn't trust any rookies. None. But this year, it's like, oh, we don't need Compton. We have Jalen Moore. What did Jalen Moore show you with right tackle? Oh, we don't need Tomlinson. We have Aaron Banks. You didn't trust Aaron Banks last year. All of a sudden, it's like all the all the young guys are good. Like, Oh, yeah. Uh, no, see, it ain't what? that. Uh, even with Tomlinson, I think they just got priced out. Like, they maybe had a number like, all right, we'll give him $10 million. Yes. But, I mean, when you start going to $14 million, Yes. Now, yeah, I know Jimmy Garoppolo, maybe you're more willing to spend that extra $4 million Yeah. Because you just see it. Especially if they would have got rid of Jimmy last year, because we're talking about rolling over. Now you're talking about over fifty million dollars that you create just from not having Jimmy. Now, all right, we'll pay Com we'll pay Compton a little money to be, you know, some insurance at tackle. We'll yeah. pay Tomlinson who the cares? fourteen million he wants. And, you know, yeah. you're not gonna care. Yeah, because like I, I, I'm sure you don't. Tomlinson got overpaid, but the, with the and the Niners can say we didn't give out any bad contracts in free agency. But it's hard to say that they can. It's hard for them to say they got better in free agency. I mean, they got a nice corner. They downgraded at strong safety and uh, at safety until they get Matthew or, or, you know, they downgraded at nickel back until they bring back K Warner. They downgraded at nose tackle downgraded at guard. Like why you're this close to being the best team in the league. And you're like kind of treading water at best. That's weak. Come on, John, we could do better. Eric and I can do better. Step your <laughs> game up. Yeah. Calling you out. Jerome says with the way things are playing out, I'm, uh, jumping on the jackhammer bandwagon, J Jimmy Garoppolo straight up for Christian McCaffrey. No, I don't like it. Not for me. Guy can't stay healthy. Same reason I don't want Kittle. Same freaking reason. No, no. Yeah, uh, I mean, but you're talking about going all in, and I get it. The inability to stay healthy. But if you're talking about, I mean, because would, would you, would you, would you, would you, today to free up Jimmy's money, would you flat out cut him? Yeah, I think no, no. Because you get more if you trade them. And I pr think there's I mean, but what more? They're, they're telling huh? you right now that the market for them isn't very good. If it's a fifth round pick, I'd take the fifth. But if there's nothing, I'll, I would cut it. You take, the, you take Jimmy in the fifth over Jimmy and Christian McCaffrey? I would rather trade Jimmy. No, because McCaffrey is expensive. Now, now you've got all this cap space tied up in him. I don't want that. Well, we're going all in this year. You can figure it out. We're going to play four games. It's like, damn, what if he's Did your you next go with Elijah Mitchell? Then you got <laughs> Elijah Mitchell and hey, if, he, else. If, if, you, if you tell me he can play 17 games, and hell yeah, he's great. Otherwise, yeah. 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 No, I see what you're saying. We'll see, we'll see what happens. G's the $90 eighth is still on the team. Everyone calls Jimmy Garoppolo the $90 eighth. Uh, I don't know if you understand the reference, but that's uh -oh. what we call him here. Uh -oh. You got to love that former athlete doesn't know what we're talking about. It's all right. Just cut the bum. Tired of this. Oh, I, I mean, I think I get the reference, no, but you know, didn't I, get it. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I, says, I don't, I don't nah, exactly. Him. Me neither. Irfan says, do you think Trent Balky screwed the Niners negotiations with Debo by overpaying for Kirk? Hm. What do you think? Did they mess with the market? What did Kirk get? Let me see. It was up to 84 million on like three, four years. <laughs> okay. Why? Why? Hold on. So he's getting. It's like 70 something. But it million a year. Damn. Wow. It, all right. it can be 84. It can it can it can be over that. Like if he hits all his incentives, uh it's it's up to like four years, 84 with all his incentives being hit. More expensive than George Kittle. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. So I mean, like, look at his cap. His cap number is gonna be 21.5 for three years in a row after this upcoming year. So yeah, in a sense, Debo could be like, Well, I'm gonna need to be above 21.5, or at least that's what his agent could say. That's that's the market. Thank you, Trent. Damn, Trent. Yeah. Trent now really the 49ers up. could counter with, well, you've only You're had right one now. year of better production than Christian Kirk. Ooh. Debo, do you hear that? 
One year, better production. That's rough. Nah, don't That's block true. me, Debo. Don't block. Me. <laughs> <laughs> he'll know what he'll do. Is he'll make he'll make a motivational video. Where like Eric Crocker said, I was only one year better than Christian Kirk. Yes, right. <laughs> You're better than him. I'm just saying. Better than if Kirk I'm the 49ers Kirk. and I have to like argue as to why you know I'm not giving you that much more money, like that would be why. Well, you know, do it another year, and there probably won't be that issue. But he has to get paid this off season, so you don't get that opportunity. Christian Kirk has been like. Fairly pr productive, nothing like Debo. I mean, Debo doubled his yeah. numbers one year. Right. You know what I'm saying? But again, I think the argument could be, well, it's, it was one year. If I'm 49ers, that's how I argue. Yeah. Uh, Sean says maybe the uh, the Niners just like Trey Lance. Uh, I'm just saying, move forward with your plan, wifey material or one night stand, easy peasy. If what, what Eric and I are saying though is, is if they really like Trey Lance, commit to him, make the statement, get him, get Jimmy off the team, and build around Trey. They haven't done it yet. So it's yeah. fair to wonder. And maybe that'll quiet down the, the speculation from the outsiders. Yeah. Uh, Jay says, do y'all think the Niners are keeping Jimmy because they don't have faith in Trey Lance? Just a thought. I mean, that's what they're projecting until they make the move. So if that's not the case, then show us. I don't think so. I think it's just John Lynch trying to win the trade. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I, I think Kyle has confidence in Trey Lance. This is a John Lynch thing. So good question. Good answer. Good answer.